Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joan, and today we're going to be doing one of those neat little tier list things that's been making its way around the internet lately. And you know, I just realized, why couldn't they have done this like earlier, you know? Because then I would have had a video to put out when I didn't have a Sibs computer. But anyway, it, there's, there's no point in discussing that now. Anyway, you guys, so I'm going to be going through, um, tiers for The Sims 4 expansion packs, stuff packs, and game packs. And I'm going to be ranking them from S to F. S being, this is fantastic, the best thing that's ever been made, and F being a complete and utter failure. So a couple things I want to point out before we get started is, number one, this is completely and solely 100% based on my opinion. So if you don't want to hear my opinion, what are you doing here? Now, I'm serious. I know I know a lot of people click on these videos because they want to hear, you know, opinions about stuff, but there's always that one person in the comments that's like, I don't want to hear your opinion. This is stupid. And I'm like, just, then why are you here? Nobody is forcing you to watch this video. If you don't want to hear about my opinions, you can just click on another video right now, guys. And you know what? I understand that not everybody plays the same way as I do. And different people have different play styles and different people like playing with different things. And that's, you know, totally cool. If your opinion is different, my if your opinion is different than mine, it's cool to disagree, you guys. But I just want to point that out for like those of you in the comments and everything. So with that out of the way, and there was a second thing I was gonna You know what? Anyway, you guys, let's get started. So we're going to start from the bottom because, you know, we got to save the best for last. And at the bottom is the F tier, and it's empty because I don't really think that any one particular pack was a failure. I mean, they all have something, you know, going for them, and they're all different, you know, different packs appeal to different people, and so that's why I just don't think that any one of them was a particular failure. But I wanted to put the F tier here just because just to show that I don't think there was a failure. And, you know, I didn't want to put the E tier in there because, you know, we're just so used to going A, B, C, D, F. But it just it just felt E, like E for some reason, just just feels like, you know, higher than D. I don't know why. But anyway, the ear... Oh my god, did I just say ear? No, no. But anyway, the E tier is next. And starting this tier off, we have luxury party stuff. And honestly, I looked up what was in this pack and there was nothing I wanted in my game like two hairstyles and that's it and those are hairstyles I could get better versions of through custom content I, I just feel like everything in luxury party stuff was just like too glitzy and just uninteresting and then there was like the buffet table I'm like I don't, I don't really need a buffet table like I know it was a thing in the sims 2 but you know I it just really wasn't all that needed so Luxury party stuff, I think that was the first one. I don't know. I didn't get The Sims 4 when it first came out, so I'm not really sure. I've heard people say it was the first one, but anyway, luxury party stuff was just uninteresting, and that's why it's at the bottom. And next we have spooky stuff, and honestly, I don't even want to know what's in this pack because I just, I don't like creepy things, and I don't want creepy things in my game. So I just don't want anything in this pack at all. Like, I just, there's just, just nothing there, and... You know, I've heard a lot of people say that there were a lot of stuff that was recolored from that in Seasons. So, like, if you have Seasons, to not get it. But a lot of people say it works really well with Seasons. And, you know, I get that there's, like, pumpkin carving thing and there's the candy bowl with the hand sticking out of it or something like that. But really, I, those aren't really anything I need in my game. Coming up next, we have Vintage Glamour stuff. And really, the only thing I actually want in this pack is the vanity table. And that's because... You know, it would make bedrooms look more realistic. I'm always struggling to figure out, okay, what else can I put in this bedroom? And the vanity table would be, like, the perfect thing. It would take up space, and it would look realistic. And I always love how kids can just go in there and just play with the makeup, you know, like, like kids do and stuff like that. But that's really, you know, that's really it. I mean, I'm not a fan of vintage. It's just, it, I just, I just feel like most of the stuff in this pack is just ugly and uninteresting. And I'm, and the butler, like, no, I don't want some old guy living in my Sims house. Like, no, I, I, I don't need a butler, guys. It's just, just, no, no. So vintage glamour stuff that rounds out the E tier. Up next is the D tier. And the first thing we have in the D tier is my first pet stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Joan, why are you putting My First Pet stuff above Vintage Glamour and Luxury Party stuff? Now, 
let me explain here. The idea behind it was good with, you know, the small pets. So you could take care of hamsters and hedgehogs and whatever else you have. But no guinea pigs. I had high hopes and they let me down. Sorry, not sorry. And a lot of people say that this should have been part of Cats and Dogs, and I completely understand because, you know, that's what they've done in the past. And, you know, I, I get it. I really do. But the thing I like about this being a separate pack is that what if you just wanted to play with small animals and not cats and dogs? Like, would you really have to spend, like, $40 for a $10 worth of stuff that you want? Like, you know, the gameplay was just really, really good. You know, you can take care of the pets, you can pet them, there's a lot of interactions. The pets can like go inside and throw like little rodent raves. And so yeah, you know, the idea behind it was good. The problem with my first pet stuff is that it was done very, very poorly. Because a lot of stuff in this pack, you need cats and dogs to have the full functionality of it. Which is honestly just stupid. And really, defeats the purpose of having this as its own separate pack. Why would you want to pay like $40 when you only really wanted like $10 worth of stuff and to get the whole $10 worth of stuff? Like, no. That, that, that Who thought that was a good idea, honestly? And you know, a lot of people think that it is a failure for that, but I honestly think that, you know, the pet idea was like really good, like I said before. And I honestly would get this pack before I would get Vintage Glamour and Luxury Party because, you know, there are some furniture that I like in this pack. I like that couch. I like the window seat. I like the little hamster toy. And so, you know, having the cats and dogs requirement isn't really a deal breaker for me because I already have cats and dogs. But it just, it just, if you want to have a pack based on small animals, keep it strictly small animals, guys. Now, coming up next is vampires. And you're probably wondering why this is here, and that is because... I'm not interested in vampires, guys. It's just, it's just, I don't like vampires. They're not my cup of tea. I never play with occult sims. The only ones I do play with are aliens. And plus, I heard there was this thing where they just walk out in the middle of the day and then, like, burn up on your lot. And I'm like, I really don't want to see that in my game. So basically getting that pack would just cause me more harm than good. But what I've heard about this pack is that the gameplay is really well. And that's what basically rises it above E tier. But other than that, you know, and even, you know, when I was building the Pleasant Family Home and I was trying to figure out what the heck I was going to put in Lilith's room, you know, I went looking through all the stuff in the pack and to find stuff to see if they had, like, dark, edgy stuff for girls. And it wasn't there. There was nothing in that pack that I really wanted. Yeah, guys, I know there are a lot of you that like the vampire pack, but it's just not my cup of tea. Next, we have romantic garden stuff. And the reason this is so low is because, let's face it, it, it does have some good, like, gameplay aspects to it. Like, like the wishing well, which I don't really care about. And the fountain that you can actually play in, and yeah, that, that, that's good. But most of the items in this pack is just completely situational. Like, there's only one place I would ever build any of these items, and that is for, like, a romantic wedding venue. I mean, I do want this pack, but only so I can build a romantic wedding venue venue for videos. Like, that's it. And the fountain. And one hair that would look good on a younger version of the Pleasant Twins. But that's pretty much it. Moving on to C tier, and the first thing we have in C tier is perfect patio stuff. And I'm going to be honest with you, I only got this pack for the hot tubs. Because honestly, th this was one of those things that they had in the base game of The Sims 2. And it's never been in the base game since. Like, what the heck? And but, you know, I, I really like the hot tubs, the way they kind of did it, because I like how kids can use the hot tubs. That That's cool. And I like how you could basically take a nap in the hot tubs. Like, I have sims that just, like, wander off and just take naps in the hot tubs. But I really wish there were more unique interactions in the hot tubs. Like, I really like The Sims 2 because it had its own cuddle interaction, its own makeout interaction. Yes, I get that it has its own woohoo interaction. That was the only one that they put, like, any detail in it all. Otherwise, it's just the same cut and paste off the couch, off the bed, which really was really what was great about The Sims 2. There are some cute furniture in this pack, and there's some cute clutter that sometimes I use in the kitchen, but honestly, I just wish there was a little bit more. And I know it's just like a $10 stuff pack, but it's like, come on, you know? I mean, I don't know. But also, the other thing I really like, like the new swimsuits, th those were good too. So yeah, 
Okay, so the next pack I have on C tier is Spotty, and again, I don't have this pack, and I haven't really played this pack, and I don't really that much about it. I haven't really heard much about the gameplay, but I've looked at the stuff, and yes, maybe there's like a couple of kitchen counters and some tiles, but nothing really stood out to me about the stuff that came in this pack, and you know, I don't really need a spa in my game, so you know, I mean, it's an interesting idea, and if I knew more about it, I'd be better accurately placing it, but I don't. Okay, coming up next is Bowling Night stuff. And, you know, I got this pack because it was bundled with City Living and Dine Out for a reasonable price. And so I'm like, you know what? Okay, I, I can I can get the bowling stuff. Bowling is cool. Bowling is fun. Bowling will not make my fingers swell. And cue the Captain America gifts for all those people who know where that came from. Go out and bowl in, like, groups and have fun with friends. And there's a lot of great clothing with it. Like, I really love the shorts and some and some of the tops. Like, not not the bowling. I mean, those, those are good for guys. I use those, like, uh, tops for, like, guys because I'm not as good as dressing guys as I am dressing girls. But other than that, there's, like, one bar stool that I like. And other than that, there's just not much there. And our final pack for C tier is Outdoor Retreat. And, you know, this is the first game pack, so it probably wasn't as good as the rest of them. But what I really like about this pack is that, you know, you can go on vacation, which is really fun. Vacation, Bon Voyage, those are some of my favorite expansion packs from The Sims 1 and The Sims 2. And I really like how you can, you know, go on vacation. And there are some, like, hair and cloud gazing. That's great. And there are these, like, two hearts that come in the pack that they use in, like, all my girls' rooms. I use these hearts all the time. They're great decorations. But other than that... The objects are very situational, again, and it's just like, where am I going to use these? Like, you know, there's there's just this, like, checkered chair, and I'm just sitting there like, this is kind of ugly. I don't want this in my house. And look, I mean, they're supposed to look rustic, but it just doesn't look like something that would be in something other than, like, a log cabin kind of thing. Other than that, once you actually take a family out and play with all the stuff, I mean, there's lots of stuff you can do, like horseshoes and camping and stuff like that, but there's not all that much else to do do. It's kind of like when I go on family vacations with my parents and don't even get me started on that because I'm not gonna, you know, go on and on the tirade. That 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 could be a whole rant video of its own. But, you know, it's like it's like you do it once and you're like, okay, I really don't need to do this again. You know, it was a good idea and it's fun for a little bit, but it's not something you want to do over and over and over again. Moving on to B tier now. Yes, we're finally getting to the good ones. <laughs> But anyway, the first pack we have at B tier is fitness stuff. Now, this is one of those packs that I don't have yet, but I want it because I really like the sleek, high-end modern furniture that comes with this pack. And it's also got, like, you know, a climbing wall, which is really cool. I don't know if we've had climbing walls in The Sims before. I didn't buy everything off the Sims 3 store, but I think it's just really cool that we have one now. If, in case you haven't noticed, I just, I just like just, like, random things that your Sims can do and just... I don't know. I mean, I just really like when they add more stuff for your Sims to do. But um, anyway, but another interesting thing about fitness stuff is it has the TV workout station, which was included in the base game of The Sims 2. Why, why couldn't they put that in the base game of The Sims 4? But okay, whatever. And I really like the idea of the earbuds too. So I probably will be getting this pack sometime in the future. Next, we have movie hangout stuff. And at first, you know, I didn't really want this pack because... Okay, let's face it, horror movies. I really just don't want to be playing my Sims game, look at what my Sims watching TV, and see zombies coming out of the ground. Like, no. Uh-uh. But I looked at the stuff that was in the pack, and I actually kind of liked it. Like, I like the clothing that comes with it. And some of the furniture, I like the little ottoman things. And, you know, some of the furniture is just really out there, but it's, um, what whatchamacallit? It's... I like colorful stuff, but some of the furniture and movie hangout stuff is just a little too colorful. However, there are, you know, different color swatches that, like, tone it down a bit, so it is usable. You know, I, I just, like, kind of like the style, and it's just, yeah, um, that, that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say about that. Um, Moving on here, next we have Strangerville. Now, honestly, I feel like this may be a little bit more of, like, a C tier, because, you know, some of the items are, like, situational and, you know, stuff like that. But, honestly, getting Strangerville led to the best video that's on my channel. And so I kind of had to bump it up to a B tier. But, um, I really like that it came with the laptops. The only thing, the only issue I have with the laptops is that 
I really wish they were more like The Sims 3, where your Sims can actually pick them up and use them, like, on the ground or use them anywhere. Like, I, that was really cool in The Sims 3. Why didn't you do that, EA? Also, it comes with the military career, which, again, was in the base game for The Sims 1, The Sims 2, and The Sims 3. Why they couldn't put in the base game for The Sims 4, I don't know. I really like the fences that came with the game. Like, you have that, you know, like, like I, I usually describe this as, like, the fence that you see at the Goth family home. The concept of this was, you know, interesting. Like, it was a story-based gameplay, and just, it, at first it felt like it wasn't something that would be in The Sims. It was like, what the heck is this? But, you know, it, it was really interesting. Oh, and that Bella Goth tease was not funny, guys. Our mother dressed in red, she is beauty. Are you kidding me, EA? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I, I'm so done! Oh. My. Goodness. That is the weirdest. Seriously? 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 Like, 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 no. No, 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 no. That, this cannot be happening right now. The thing that holds Strangerville back, in my opinion, is just that it has bad replayability. Like, I've already gone through the story once. I kind of don't want to do it again. Even though I technically haven't in this new save file. Because, well, my computer crashed. We, we don't need to hear any more about that. Okay, next we have Jungle Adventure, and to be honest, again, I wasn't interested in this pack at first. L let's just say that that skeleton that they have on the cover kind of creeps me out a little bit. But I really like the items that come with the pack. Like, I like the kitchen cabinets, the shelves, the beds and the couches and whatever the frick this is. I don't even know. And it came with like some wall tiles, which I kind of desperately needed because I kind of got sick of doing the same backsplash for the kitchen over and over again. But... Other than that, I haven't really played with the actual jungle adventure part of it yet because I've been so busy world building. So I can't really say anything about that. It's an interesting concept. <laughs> I can tell you that. I mean, it, it sounds interesting. I just I haven't got the around to doing that yet. So maybe sometime soon. And now we finally have the first expansion pack on this tier list. It is Get to Work. And the only reason I really got this pack was for the aliens. Once again... That was a base game feature of The Sims 2, which was one of the best ones. I mean, I really loved having, like, alien kids, and that that was, like, really fun. I really like how they brought that back and get to work, and I just, you know, enjoy it so much. The only really annoying thing about the aliens is that they the aliens themselves don't... You have to put them in normal clothes, so you have to clothe them and the disguise. So that's kind of annoying. And the genetics are a little bit weird. Like, I was creating, you know, like, a second-generation alien hybrid... And while the first generation, the mother was green, I was trying to get the next generation green, and it came out blue. And I'm like, what the heck? So that, that didn't make any sense. But overall, you know, I, I really like what they did. And, you know, I mean, aliens are just, are just really fun to play with. That's really, really the only occult sims I ever play with. But other than that, you're able to own a shore, which is kind of fun. And, you know, it came with some cool jewelry. And it came with the doctor and scientist careers which were in the base game for the first three Sims, and I guess they might have been planning this stuff, but, I mean, it's like, come on, we finally get stuff that was, that was, you know, base game content for previous games, so it's like, what the heck? But a lot of the objects are just, like, so situation. They do come in handy for, like, interesting things, like building science labs and stuff like that. The active careers are kind of interesting in the fact that, you know, I was doing, like, the medical career the other day, and it was like, okay, there's all these patients here, but all the tasks have me just do, like, intern stuff. It's like, what about these patients? Nobody's taking care of these patients. What the heck? Well, what am I supposed to do? So, yeah, that's that's kind of why Get to Work is kind of a B. But, you know, it's still good. Mostly for the aliens, but it's still good. Our last entry for B tier is Get Famous. Now, when this came out, I was just kind of thinking, really? A celebrity pack? I don't know. But... You know, I'm just not interested in Sims being celebrities. I kind of turned it off in The Sims 3. But the celebrity system they had in Get Famous is actually, they did a good job with the quirks and twerks and, no, not twerks. Oh my goodness. Um, whatever. I, I don't even, perks and quirks. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind. And okay, the acting career is fun, except when you get to later dramas and Sims have to. Never mind. Anyway, um, I really like how they added in the media production, like where you could, the music production and videos, you could be a content creator. That's something we've never seen in The Sims before, so that was really cool. 
And I really like the mid-century modern furniture. I, I don't know if it's just that color scheme or the way the furniture looks or I just I just really like that. And then of course there's the sleep pod, which honestly the woohoo animation of the sleep pod is just so adorable when they come out of it. I mean, look at this picture. Look at this. I drew off of that animation. That that is that is adorable. If you don't think that's adorable, something is wrong with you. Okay, okay, moving on to A tier. First thing we have is A tier is laundry day stuff. Now, I had no intention of getting this pack at first because Laundry in the Sims 3 is annoying. They would go around, leave piles of clothing all over the house, and you know, they would come and they would pick it up and they would spend, when you know, they have like five needs really low and so they, and they'd spend time, you know, cleaning up the laundry and sticking it in hampers. It's like, no, if you're gonna clean up the laundry, put it in the washing machine. But laundry has vastly improved with The Sims 4. That was, that was needed. So it's not like a nuisance anymore. And you know, I really like kind of like the little details that they add with it. Like you can watch this stuff in the washing machine. You know, like SpongeBob and Patrick do when they go out. Remember, can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? You could get like a dazed mood like washing the watching the items spin in the laundry <laughs> in the washing machine, which is kind of fun. But the thing that really made this pack desirable for me was not only items, but mostly the clothing that came with it. I just love the clothing that came with it. And the items are like really good too. I like there's a lot of shelf items and there's, you know, it, ju it just makes the house have so much more character. The next pack we have is toddler stuff. And okay, EA, really? No toddlers in the base game? Like that was pretty much the reason I did not get The Sims 4 when it first came out because it was like, that was just like a deal breaker for me. And you know, I understand that they had the new emotion system and they had to leave stuff out. But why toddlers? Why can't you leave stuff out that nobody wants, like homework? But anyway, this toddler stuff pack was just sorely, sorely needed. There were lots of cute outfits. I just really like the outfits that came with it and the options that we now have. I'm like the kind of person where even if I have like a ton of options, I always feel like I need more. So if I get more options, I'm happy. I actually like the play things. And yes, yes, I know, I know guys, the ball pit. It's not perfect, okay? You know, but I feel like it could look better graphically. But you know, for me, that is such a small issue. It's just, I'm just happy that they have the ball pit in the game because I mean, I can do pictures of it. Look at little Alice, she's so cute. And you know, I love the tunnels and I love the slide, but I really, really wish that children could play on the slide too and in the ball pit. And even like teenagers could like hang out on the stuff. Like, cause that was a really great thing about The Sims 2 where teens could just hang out on the playground equipment and talk. I really miss that. Like they need more stuff for teenagers. But anyway, you guys, the thing that holds toddler stuff back is the toddler play dates. They, they really could be better. Because, you know, you have to get to know these toddlers and toddlers don't really show up with their parents at um, Community Less. That was something The Sims 3 did well, but The Sims 4 doesn't. And so you have to go out of the way to get to know these toddlers. I think it would be better if you schedule a toddler play date if you knew like one of the parents or maybe a toddler's older sibling, you know, like a teenager or above, they could bring the toddler over and you could meet them. That would be really cool. That would basically bump it up to an S tier, but they don't have that. So it's at A tier. Next up, we have cool kitchen stuff. And I know, I know a lot of you, this is an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to say it anyway. I really like cool kitchen stuff, okay? The ice cream, that, that was really, really cool. It's a great idea, you know? The only thing that's wrong with it is when Sims get hungry, they kind of go and get ice cream and start making ice cream. And I'm like, you know, th that's not going to fill you up. And okay, okay, I'm guilty of that too. But anyway, the thing I really love about Cool Kitchen stuff is that there's lots of kitchen clutter, which we needed because every time I make a kitchen, I feel like I'm making the same kitchen, even if I make it a little bit different because um, just the clutter items, there's not that much, even though we have quite a few, it's like I'm using the same ones over and over again. So I really like how they added new clutter and you know, they have kitchen counters. That way I just sorely needed more of those. And I, I really like, basically the cookbooks, the the spice wall thingamajigger, I, I don't know what to call that. The rack with the picture on it, I love that. The thing that holds cool kitchen stuff back is that I just wish there was more kitchen stuff. Because even with this pack, I still think I don't have enough kitchen stuff. Okay, next we have Dine Out. And this added restaurants in the game. Finally. 
basically, you know, when I first got The Sims 4, and even, you know, in The Sims 3, The Sims 3 is a little bit better because you can go in rabbit holes. But The Sims 4, when I when I first got this game, I just missed the restaurants. And it was just like the one the feature of like The Sims 2 that I really liked, where you could take your Sims out on dates and go to restaurants. And I really like how they brought that back in The Sims 4. And I like how the goals of dates are different when you actually go to a restaurant. And it does come with some cool stuff, but you guys, it's not perfect. First of all, why can't toddlers go to restaurants? Like, that makes no sense. Like, I've seen other people in videos bring toddlers to restaurants, but every time I try to bring my toddlers to restaurants, it's like, no, you have to send your toddlers to daycare. And I'm like, well, what am I missing? Is it a mod that I have to use? Is it, it's, well, what the heck is going on? There are high chairs, you know, I think that would be like simple to work. And this is, they probably did this before, you know, toddlers were released, but updating the game is not that hard, people. I mean, really. And there also is like a feed sim interaction, which I haven't been able to see in the pie menu at all for my sims. And I'm like, okay, what is going on? And honestly, I wish there were more restaurant socials. Like in The Sims 2, they had these booth socials where you could, you know, they had a hot smooch, a love talk. I just really like those specific socials, you know, and they don't have those in The Sims 4. It's, I do like some of the details they have, like you could bring out cakes for like birthday parties and you can draw on placemats. And they have some good items and clothing too. So, you know, and I've heard that, you know, Dine Out is really buggy, but I haven't personally experienced all the bugs. I don't, I really don't know. Anyway, guys, mo moving on. Cats and dogs. Now, yes, the pet expansion pack. You know, people really want the pet expansion pack. And honestly, it's it's really fun to have pets because, you know, pets are unique. I really like what they did with the cats and the dogs. And I really like, you know, you can become a vet and that can be, you know, your career. And that that's just, that was a lot of fun when I played with it. It was like, one of the first skills in The Sims 4 that I got really, really far with. I really like the detail that they put in to some of the stuff in Cats and Dogs. Like, the little pet doors. I love how toddlers can walk through them. Like, that that was excellent attention to detail. And you have the cats riding the Roomba. I love that. And there, there was the bay window bench. I love that, too. I kind of, like, want one of those in my home, but, um... The thing with cats and dogs is it kind of came with some just really ugly furniture, like the quilts. Oh my god, no. I hate that. I God, no. It's like, okay, this bed looks interesting, but there's all these quilted swatches. And I'm like, I don't like that at all. Like, that would not be in this house. Like, what the heck? That was kind of holding it back, in my opinion. But anyway, cats and dogs was a generally good expansion pack. And now, finally, last but definitely not least, we have S tier, the best of the best. And the first one on this list is kids room stuff and I love that they made a pack for kids because this was needed. I think a lot of the gameplay is you know centered around like adults and what adults can do and they kind of neglect kids and teens and toddlers and well the toddlers were done really well but you know it kind of had its own update that was a good thing about toddlers being added later but the kids were kind of a little bit neglected so um it's really nice that they have this pack for um kids room stuff. I love the hair that comes with it. A lot of the clothes I really like, except for the ones I don't. Like, the cat and the guitar is kind of cute, but that dog detective, that is just ugly. I love the decorations in the kids' room. The paintings, the posters, you got the butterflies, they're so adorable. The photo string, which, you know, make, makes a good decoration for a lot of teen rooms as well. I really love the furniture, you know, the bed and the little dresser with the little pictures in it. And, you know, I think there was, like, a mirror that came with it that was really cool. It just it just made making kids' rooms and furnishing kids' rooms, like, so much more fun and enjoyable. And I really look forward to doing that when I build these houses. I like how it came with a tween pop station. I just wish it had more than four songs, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And the Void Critters are really interesting. You know, the Pokemon-like Void Critters, it's just, like, really cool how much detail they put into that particular part of this pack. The only thing I really wish is that teens and adults could use these too, because let's be honest, when you start playing Pokemon as a kid, a lot of times you don't quit. Like, I haven't quit. There are a lot of people I know that haven't quit. You know, I mean, you could pass it on to your children or your younger siblings, or you could just keep them. And, you know, I mean, especially with teens, I mean, young adults too, but teens especially really would love to have them be able to use that. It's kind of sad that they don't. Anyway, the next pack we have is backyard stuff. I love the clothes that come in this pack. I love the big items like you know, the slip and slide is fun. They have the bird feeder. I do think there was kind of a missed opportunity with the bird feeder that they didn't put a squirrel 
animation on there because that would have been hilarious. And, you know, I like the wind chimes and, like, the lemons and the little orange things and the pinwheels and the flower strings and something about the paint. Oh, yeah, the bird painting. Yeah, I like that, too. And the six-seater table. That was a great thing that came with this pack. A lot of good stuff came with this pack. And so it, it's not just, you know, stuff you would put in your backyard. It's stuff that you can find that you can use, you know, even in, like, kids' rooms and other places in the house, like that bird painting. And, you know, there's the tea and the picket fence. And, you know, it, it just makes the houses look all that you know, more realistic. So that's why I really, really like this pack. Okay, the next pack we have is Parenthood. And this this was brilliant. It was a brilliant idea. First of all, I love the objects with the clutter, the bread box, and the hair dryer, and the makeup, and the light string. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And the parenting skill was a great addition. The creative items were so good too. And one of my favorite expansion packs in The Sims 3 is Generations. And that's because it just adds so much more to, you know, the game and, and the, you know, kids growing up. Like I said, you know, I really like how you can influence your kids and bring them development values. And that will influence when they become adults. Although I haven't actually accomplished that in the game because... I don't know, I, the way I play, I just like to get kids to a certain age and then say, okay, here's the family now, it's just going to be static. But um, I really like the school projects that came with it. That was That's kind of fun. But the one thing I really, really wish that they had more in this game in general is just more development in teenagers. Like, The Sims 2 did teenagers so well. They would just, like, you know, when you were creating them and creating a sim, they would just be like, Ugh. and like sulking like I really don't want to be here like you know like teenagers do and they you know they were able to hang out like I said before they could sneak out they could run away they you know would have their problems but they they would have acne and break out it, it's just like these things that I just I just miss bring that stuff back we really need like a game pack focused on teenagers that that's what I really want to see in The Sims 4. Okay, now on to the expansion packs for S tier. And the first one I have is Get Together. And that is mostly because it came with the dance club, which is honestly a really great place to send your Sims on dates. I just love having things that, like, you know, Sims can do together, like the diving board, you know, and the um, darts, and Don't Wake the Llama, and the arcade and foosball, and stuff like that that, that were basically, like, staples in The Sims Two and The Sims Three, and we had that they brought those back. I really, really, really like those. I like you know the items that came with it, the couches and the chair, like the egg chair. I love that. The new world was fantastic. They had a public pool, which was needed, and they had nightclubs, and they had a haunted mansion, which is a really cool place to send your Sims when they need something to do and kind of freak them out. I think the main feature of the pack, which was the clubs, I just don't really use that that much. And, you know, I mean, all the other stuff, the stuff that came with it, like the dance clubs, the activities, and everything like that, you know, that was really the draw for this expansion pack. Like, I really love this expansion pack because it added so much stuff your Sims can do for fun. And that was needed. It was needed in this game. And then after that, we have City Living. San Machino was fabulous. I like that you can, you know, put your Sims in apartments again, although it would be kind of cool to be able to create them like you could in The Sims 2. It came with a game console, which, again, base game in The Sims 3 and The Sims 2. Why couldn't this be base game in this? I don't know. I really like the idea of, like, the festivals that they have. Like, GeekCon is probably my favorite. These festivals are, like, really fun. Yes, they kind of get stale after a while, but... You know, it's just it's just another fun thing that your Sims can go out and do in like groups with their friends. And I really love that. I like the careers that came with it, like like the semi-active careers, like the social media career where you could like live stream and all the all that stuff like that. That was really cool. I like the Ottomans that came with it, the basketball, the computers, there was a piano that came with it. And not not like that big giant grand piano that can't fit in a normal person's house. I mean like an actual like, like, the piano that they had in the base game of The Sims 2, where you could actually put it in a house and people could play it, you know? Like, they actually see it in people's houses. And I also really like how there were lots of different cultures. Like, you have headwear, you have, um, I don't even know what else they have. But, um, it, it just, it just really was a great job of putting the aspect of a city into this game. The last one, which you guys probably know what this is, but anyway, it's Seasons. And honestly, I honestly thought this was more of an A-tier pack, but when I looked at all the objects that it came with, I could not put it in S-tier, guys. It came with swings, which, base game, other games, but roller skating it came with. I love the furniture, the couches, the beds, some of the lamps. 
I love the clothing that came with it. The only problem with it is, is that even, you know, in the middle of winter and you're inside a heated home, why do the Sims have to wear their cold weather wear inside a heated home? Like, nobody wears their coats inside. That's ridiculous. The weather is kind of... I mean, it's okay. I mean, I guess I didn't really need the weather because I kind of like the idea of forever being summer. It kind of adds a lot of character to the game, though. Although, I will have to say this thing. Seasons in real life? Oh my god, I cannot stand them. In The Sims, they're pretty darn good. And you know, I mean, I like the rain. The, the snow is kind of annoying, though. And I don't really have a problem with, like, the deep level of snow. But I really like how your Sims can make snow angels and build snow pals and all this other stuff that I... Should be fun in the winter, but I never actually get to do because it's too cold outside and I don't really want to go outside in the winter. And I'm miserable. The other good thing that they have is, oh yeah, the toddler pools. I love those two. You know, that that was needed. But um, the holidays are really good. You can make your own holidays, which I haven't done yet. I want to do it at some point. Like you can egg hunt. You can decorate the tree. You can have like, you know, the Thanksgiving feast or harvest fest or whatever you want to call it where you get all the diff all of your Sims family members together and just get together for like a family gathering. That was really great. And this pack is fantastic season. It was a good pack. And so that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.